They swing it on an air side to Zaya Cook. Both teams are going to try to play up-tempo today. South Carolina likes to shoot quick, play up-tempo, and play fast. Offensive foul is going to be called on South Carolina. Now Gonzaga with its first possession of the game. The Zags. Out top, shot by Townsend. That's good, Jill Townsend. Townsend had the ball out top. He's swinging on the right side to Jen Worth. She drives. Good reverse. Excellent body control by Worth there on the up and under with the reverse layup. And if you're going to foul, make it a good foul, not, not one 45 feet from the basket. Boston near side to Cook on the drive. Little scoop, and it's good. Zaya Cook. Out top with the shot clock going down to five. It was off the mark, and here comes South Carolina on the run. Feet inside, and a layup up and good. They look inside. This is Saxton. Good pass inside, and that's a block. They'll feed it down the middle. Here's a layup try, and that's up and good. The twin sister gets on the board. Right. Here's Beal now. Little bank too short, but she got her own rebound and scores. How about 13 points, 10 boards, 5 of 6 field goal shooting versus Charleston. And she had a great game yesterday against South Dakota. And there's a three ball put up and in. Nice shot by Leanne Worth. Jen Worth is more of the post player, so nice job there by Leanne hitting the early three. Shot way outside. And that is going for three, and that is good by Zaya Cook. Jill Townsend, they're really keying on her, playing her very tightly outside. Yes. Shot clock is down to eight. Pass in the lane. This is Melody Kempton, and she scores off the bench. Kempton, a 6'1 junior post out of Post Falls, Idaho. Zami here on the miss. The first. 66.7% for South continue. Carolina, 6 of 10. Yeah, the free throw woes indeed, Jason, as the ball now into the hands of Liam Worth. Right wing, a long shot by Sierra Walker, and that's good for three. Sierra Walker out of Oregon City, Oregon, a redshirt senior. Averaged just under nine points a game last year, shooting almost 40% from three-point range. Good job inside to steal the ball and go up strong. Zaya Cook with the hoop. That and free throw is about the only thing that South Carolina did wrong yesterday, missing a lot of easy buckets. Hollingsworth, and that's a triple. Yep. Nice kick out there on the penetration, and Townsend buried the three. This is underneath Bree Beal, and Beal put it up. Gonzaga with a little three-quarter court pressure caused the last turnover. And that shot got the roll. 23-21. Nice Pass look. inside. Layup try is up and good again. Great hustle, but South Carolina gets the ball back. Little runner in the lane. That's a teardrop. One thing if you notice, Scott, this Gonzaga team has a lot of international flavor. They got, a, they got players from Australia, Romania, Canada. That's a big part of their roster is recruiting those international players to come to Spokane. Yeah, that's a very good point. I mean, here, good pass inside and feeding it for the assist. Lili Grisset, who was instant offense off the bench yesterday. She has a pair. Cook a little out of control there, a little, a little wild with shot at the rim. Nice job there by Gonzaga securing the rebound. Kempton out top had it. This is Townsend. Back out top, Liam Worth. She hits a three. Yeah, I mentioned they're a little bigger than a big South Dakota team. How about six foot five for Virjoge? And there's a shot put up and in. Gonzaga in comparison only the line four times. And there's a good feed on the inbounds play. They had two cutters to the basket. And Jem Worth was option number two. And she made the layup. Real good work on the offensive end. Both players, both sisters have been major contributors from the inside and the outside. And again, if you're Gonzaga, I think you want to make South Carolina shoot jump shots. I think they're very, very good driving Tegan Henderson. 
and Beal makes South Carolina shoot jumper, even though she just banked it in off the glass there. Good drive to the basket, and Scanlon puts it up and in. She has done a great job recruiting for this program all, all over the world. You know, she's in her seventh year. She's built a great program. Nice job picking the charge there. Back to Coach Fortier. She's done a great job in her seventh year. Coach Fortier started at Gonzaga in 2004 as a direct basketball operation. She's worked her way up from being an assistant coach, and she's in her seventh year named the head coach in 2014. Yeah, big minute and a half here. You don't, if you're South, Gonzaga, you want to get good shots, and you want to keep this lead at less than less than six or eight. Nice reverse. Outside is Cook with the shot clock going down. It's down to two. Good feet underneath, and the finish. South Carolina showing some patience. They get it down the lane to Boston, and Boston scores. We'll see if Townsend can get things going. She has seven points so far. Yep. They'll kick it out top for a three, and that's nothing but money. Destiny Henderson hit a jumper. Now there's a shot put up and in. Tightly contest again, the number one team in the country against the number 21 team in the country. Shot in the corner for three, and that is good. Uh, or Jen Worth, those are your two best scorers. You gotta get one of those two guys a good look here before this game gets to, out of hand. To get another opportunity after the missed three. Shot clock down to seven. They feed it inside and a nice layup with the left hand by Melody Kempton. Scott Galetti along with Jason Powers and Gonzaga continues to fight down by four with the ball. Great job by the Lady Zags with Coach Fortier staying in the game, shooting the perimeter of three. And there you have another three. You got a one point game. The Zags, seven of 16 here today. Chance to take the lead. And they try for a three and got oh. it from the outside. How about that? Is that was Jill Townsend with the triple. Got outside miss. Worth got the rebound underneath. Scoop it underhanded. What a shot by Jen Worth. Here nice come the Zags defense. up by two. Shot is missed. And the rebound, here comes South Carolina. Guess what, they're running. And they're tying the game and a chance to take the lead. How's that? Scanlon. Shot clock down to seven. They get it to Kempton. Kempton puts oh. it up and in. Yeah, and Trong was the one who just went to the line and missed the, free th the three free throws. So she's feeling the heat, the pressure of the moment a little bit here as the sophomore point guard. Three in the corner, and that's going to be off the mark, but good rebound by Beal, and she scores. South Carolina now, minute 37, trying to close things out against Gonzaga, and a shot up and good, although they're playing patiently right now. Townsend outside, near side, three ball by Walker's good. Next one is good, so a 16-1 six, run by, by South Carolina. And that will do it. The ball game is over. The final score, number one, South Carolina at 79.